Australian researchers have made a groundbreaking discovery in detecting gravitational waves on Earth and have received the prestigious Prime Minister's Prize for Science for their contributions. Joining me now is Professor Susan Scott, one of the recipients of the Prime Minister's Prize for Science. Susan, thank you so much for your time. May I start by saying I'm not worthy really to be interviewing someone of such calibre, but congratulations. What have you done here and why have you received this award? Please explain it to us. Well, basically, we've been on uh, a quarter of a century journey to try to detect gravitational waves. And our team of four scientists has pioneered the Australian effort in contributing to that first detection. And that's involved many things involving development of technology, but also modelling signals from mm. possible things out in the universe that will produce gravitational waves. So what does uh, produce gravitational waves and what does the detection of them allow us to do in our day-to-day -day life? The detection of gravitational waves comes from very big objects in space, very dense ones like black holes spinning around each other and colliding, and they produce big enough waves for, for us to have a hope of detecting, and we have done that. But the consequences of that for humanity are that we've unlocked this new part of the universe that we couldn't access before because we're seeing a different type of signal than we've ever used before, like light and radio waves. This is a new signal produced by the universe, and so we can see new things in the universe that simply weren't accessible before. Look, it's, I've got to be honest, it's quite hard for me to wrap my head around uh, this morning, pre-7am, but uh, perhaps post-7am it wouldn't be all that easier. You say you've been working on this for the better part of a quarter of a century. Was there a, a moment in which there was the, the breakthrough came or was it more a, a longer period of time? Well, it was a very long lead-up in us trying to detect gravitational waves, as you say, a quarter of a century, but on the 14th of September 2015, we actually had a signal come into the detectors, which was the first gravitational wave that we've ever detected. So that was a big change, and that's really what we're celebrating here with this recognition. Um, but it opened up this whole new window onto the universe with gravitational wave astronomy.